Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Windows XP 2025 edition by Harbor of Tech. We've taken a look at ISOs made by Harbor of Tech in the past, but this is a fresh release from him, and I'm ready to take a look at it. Its goal is to skin Windows 11 to look exactly like Windows XP. We've taken a look at ISOs like this in the past, and we've had some pretty good ones, but this one is a brand new release I'm excited to take a look at. So let's go ahead and boot up the virtual machine and boot into the ISO so we can see what we're working with here. Maybe this is, I, no, this is Windows 11. I think the startup is just Windows 10 because of the bypasses that are required to bypass like TPM. So, yep, again, Harbor of Tech always customizes their installers to look like this. This is one of the nicer ones we've looked at. I've seen some pretty bad ones. But let's go through this setup process here. Uh, we don't have a product key, and it shouldn't ask us to select an addition because it's just one addition. Agree to the terms custom install on that 60 gig disk and here we go we are now installing windows xp 2025 edition i will say going into this i do not know anything about this os i don't I didn't watch any videos i just downloaded it so this is going to be my full first impression of this all right and here we are on the desktop of windows xp 2025 edition by default we have recycle bin my computer which should show let's see windows 11 pro okay we have the Harbor of Tech YouTube channel, the Harbor of Tech Discord server, an executable that will remove Microsoft Edge in the event you wanted to get rid of that. And then we have a compression file that will actually compress Windows into a smaller form. Because we're not looking at this as a tiny OS build, we're not going to run this. I don't see a need to. Down here on the taskbar, we can see a pretty well-themed Windows XP taskbar. I can notice some differences like the fonts are off, but we do here have our time which just brings up the Windows 11 Action Center. We have our volume, which again brings up the Windows 11 Volume Center. <laughs> um, then we have our system tray that I'm hoping, yeah, is a little more normal uh, to what we would see with Windows XP. Over here on the left side, when we open the Start menu, wow, this looks like something that was made in Visual Basic. We have our typical admin documents, pictures, my computer, recent items, settings, control panel, network connections, printers, search, help and support, run and shut down. Um, but this really looks like it was made in Visual Basic. Like this is not that great. Um, even these, these look like Visual Basic as well. Or maybe not Visual Basic, but something along those lines. We have File Explorer, Calculator, Settings, Command Prompt, Notepad, Task Scheduler, Paint, Security, and Microsoft Store by default here. Um, going to all programs, we can see that we have, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. I mean, they're all Windows 11 programs. It looks like we're using open shell so maybe not visual basic and then we're also using retro bar for the task bar um, just based on what we can see there um, but nothing out of the ordinary that i'm seeing too much in settings or in applications rather in my computer i can see that we are using or we have free 48.4 gigs of 59 that means we're using about 11 gigabytes i mean not terrible and again remember we do have that compression script right there on the topic of being inside File Explorer, notice how we don't actually have any Windows XP window borders. This is just standard Windows 11 window borders. And I have a feeling that if I go to Microsoft Edge or even Notepad, well, that's also a newer app. If I go to like Microsoft Edge or Windows Tools, yeah, it's just blue. There's no Windows XP theming here. There was one build we took a look at, and I can't remember what build it was, that this it was Windows 10, but it was actually so well themed to be Windows XP that it could, it could have convinced me. I mean, it was so good. Um, this one, on the other hand, is not as well as that one. I mean, it, there's definitely a lot of Windows 11 showing through, and maybe that was Harbor of Tech's goal. I'm not criticizing him in any way, but this is not what I would think of when I think of a Windows XP skin for Windows XP. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the backgrounds that we have here. So we have Windows XP Dark Mode, Windows XP Light Mode, which changes just like the Windows 11 apps, and then our default Windows 11 themes. So nothing too out of the ordinary here. So to me personally, this just looks like Retro Bar with um, the Classic Shell enabled. I mean, like there's nothing else here that stands out to me. Oh, and that's another thing. There's a search bar here. There's not a search bar in Windows XP. Um, yeah, Open Shell. I mean, that's really all that's installed on here. Um, that's really what this reminds me of. It's like there is not a lot of effort actually put into making this. It's just a lump together sort of, I don't even know how to describe it, two applications and we called it Windows XP 2025 edition. Definitely something interesting though to take a look at here. I'm not too impressed as I've seen better ones in the past. Again, I'm not criticizing Harbor of Tech, but 
because we have looked at Harbor of Tech's previous builds, not of this specific version, but other Harbor of Tech builds. And if I recall correctly, they've been pretty good. So with that being said, this is a brief overview of Windows XP 2025 edition. There's actually one more thing I want to look at. Let's look at CPU and RAM utilization and also what version of Windows 11 this is. So this is probably Windows 11 and 24H2. Yep. And we are utilizing, you know, average Windows 11 CPU, 10% and two out of eight gigs of RAM. So not bad at all. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.